Quote mining. Uh, I'm going to begin with an example, quite a well-known one, from Charles Darwin. Darwin, faced with the complexity of the eye, said, to suppose that the eye, with all its inimitable contrivances for adjusting the focus to different distances, for admitting different amounts of light, and for the correction of spherical and chromatic aberration, could have been formed by natural selection, seems, I freely confess, absurd in the highest degree. Well, that famous quotation was always going to be a prime candidate for quote mining, omitting, of course, the words that immediately follow it. Yet reason tells me. <laughs> I think you know it. Um, and you can read it anyway. Using Yahoo's search engine, I have just searched the World Wide Web for I freely confess absurd in the highest degree and obtained 2,890 hits. For comparison, I then searched for if numerous gradations from a perfect and complex I, which is from the following passage, and obtained only 1,550 hits. The former phrase has been quoted nearly twice as often as the latter. Let's call this a mining index of two. It's actually quite a modest mining index. The Cambrian explosion, as you probably know, is an event in the history of life, in the fossil history, in which it appears that about half a billion years ago, a little bit more, most of the great animal phyla rather suddenly appear in the fossil record. Needless to say, creationists love it because it looks to them as though that was, there was nothing before that. These phyla just suddenly sprang into existence. In The Blind Watchmaker, I wrote, I was young and foolish in those days and not aware of the potential for quote mining. I wrote that, that the majority of animal phyla, we find them, quote, already in an advanced state of evolution the very first time they appear. It is as though they were just planted there without any evolutionary history. I went on to say, needless to say, this appearance of sudden planting has delighted creationists. Well, I was savvy enough evidently to realize that creationists would love it, but not, in 1986, savvy enough to know that they would gleefully quote my lines back at me in their own favor, carefully admitting what followed, which was a rather lengthy explanation of the Cambrian explosion and about how, in fact, it must have been preceded by a very long period of evolutionary history. I went on to say, evolutionists of all stripes believe, however, that this really does represent a very large gap in the fossil record. Well, I uh, did my quote mining index calculation on this as well. Uh, I took the phrase, it is as though they were just planted there without any evolutionary history. I subjected that phrase to Yahoo's search engine and got 1,250 hits. I then looked at the next bit. Evolutionists of all stripes believe, however, that this really does represent a very large gap in the fossil record and got 63 hits. This gives a mining index, 1250 divided by 63, of nearly 20, 